Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about DevOps engineers, who they are, what they do and how to become one. And if you stick to the end of this video, I'm going to share with you tips and tricks on how to find a DevOps job fast. So without taking much of your time, let's get started. So who is a DevOps engineer? I'm sure a lot of you have heard about DevOps, but who is a DevOps engineer? A DevOps engineer is a cross-functional IT professional who works to bridge the gap between software development and IT operations. They are responsible for automating and streamlining the software development and delivery process from when a developer writes code to when that code gets to production. So that's kind of who a DevOps engineer is. So now that we know who is a DevOps engineer, let's talk about some of the responsibilities of DevOps engineers. That's what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. So the first thing I want you to know is that DevOps engineers wear many hats, but some of their most common responsibilities include one, automating infrastructure deployment and configuration. DevOps engineers use tools and technologies to automate the deployment and configuration of servers, network, and other infrastructural components. This helps to ensure that infrastructure is provisioned and configured consistently and above all that infrastructure is reliable. The second thing DevOps engineers do is implementing continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines. In the world of tech or in the world of IT, continuous integration and continuous delivery is commonly known as CI-CD. So if you hear someone talk of CI-CD pipelines, know that that person is talking of continuous integration and continuous delivery. So CI-CD pipelines are automated workflows that automate the building, testing, and deployment of software. DevOps engineers work to implement and improve CI-CD pipelines to ensure that software is released quickly and above all, that software is reliable. The third thing DevOps engineers do is monitoring and managing production systems. DevOps engineers are also responsible for monitoring and managing production systems to ensure that they are always available and above all, these systems are performing well. This may involve DevOps engineers doing tasks such as log monitoring, performance monitoring, or even incident response. So those are some of the responsibilities of DevOps engineers. So now that we know who is a DevOps engineer and what they do, let's look at the background of DevOps engineers. Where do they come from? DevOps engineers come from a variety of backgrounds, but they typically have a strong understanding of both software development and IT operations. They are also typically provisioned in a variety of tools and technologies such as scripting languages, cloud computing, and containerization tools like Docker and Kubernetes. Now that you kind of understand the background of DevOps engineers, the next question I guess you're asking yourself is how do you become a DevOps engineer? The first thing I want you to know is that there is no one size fit or path to becoming a DevOps engineer. There are multiple ways you can become a DevOps engineer. A software developer can choose to become a DevOps engineer. A network engineer can choose to become a DevOps engineer. And someone with no IT background can also choose to become a DevOps engineer. So because of this, there is no specific path you can take to become a DevOps engineer. However, there are a few things that you can do to increase your chances of becoming a DevOps engineer. And in this video, I'm going to talk about those things. So the first thing I want you to do if you want to become a DevOps engineer is gain experience in software development 
or IT operations. This will give you the foundation in the skills and knowledge that are required for a DevOps role. The second thing you can do is learn about DevOps principles and practices. There are a number of resources available online, especially on Udemy and Cloud Academy that can teach you DevOps. So what I would want you to do is use Udemy to learn the theory part of DevOps and then use Cloud Academy, especially their labs, to learn the practical part of DevOps. By doing this, you gain a lot of experience when it comes to DevOps principles and practices. The third thing I would highly recommend you do if you want to become a DevOps engineer is get involved in a DevOps community. There are a number of online and offline communities where you can connect with other DevOps engineers and learn from their experience. For example, I own an online community of DevOps engineers which you can join right now by clicking the link below and have an opportunity to meet other DevOps engineers ask your questions and learn from their experience. So let's talk about the different roles in DevOps. For example, you go now, you study DevOps, what are the different roles you can, you can have? There are a number of different DevOps roles, each with its own unique focus. Some of the most common DevOps roles include one DevOps engineer. A general purpose DevOps engineer works on a variety of tasks related to automating and streamlining the software development and delivery process. The second role you can have if you study DevOps is a role called Site Reliability Engineer. Site Reliability Engineers are commonly known as SREs. Site reliability engineers focus on the reliability and performance of production systems. They work to ensure that systems are available, scalable, and above all, these systems are secured. The third role you can have if you decide to study DevOps is release manager. Release managers are responsible for planning and executing the release of software to production. They work with developers and operation teams to ensure that releases are successful and above all, these releases are smooth. So, if you study DevOps, you can become a DevOps engineer, you can become a site reliability engineer, or you can become a release manager. And if you don't want to be any of these things, you can also become an automation engineer. Automation engineers focus on automating the software development and delivery process. This may involve automating tasks such as infrastructure provisioning, deployment, testing, and monitoring. And finally, Another role you can have if you study DevOps is a role called DevSecOps. DevSecOps engineers work to ensure that software and infrastructure is secure. They work to identify and mitigate security vulnerabilities before they even happen. So guys, these are some of the roles you can have if you decide to go study DevOps. So most of the time when people hear DevOps, they think that if you study DevOps, you can only become a DevOps engineer. That's not true. If you study DevOps, you can become a DevOps engineer, you can be a site reliability engineer, you can be a release manager, you can be an automation engineer, or you can be a DevSecOps engineer. So let's look at the skills and knowledge required to become a DevOps engineer. DevOps engineers need to have a wide range of skills and knowledge. Why? Because they are a combination of development and operation. So it's a must for them to understand how development works and also to understand how operation works. So let's look at some of the skills you would need if you want to become a DevOps engineer. The first skill you will need 
a software development. DevOps engineers need to have a strong understanding of software development principles and practices. This includes knowledge of programming languages, version control systems, operating systems, and also unit testing frameworks. Now, this does not mean that you are a developer. DevOps engineers are not developer. It is important for a DevOps engineer to understand how developers work so that he or she can better support them. The second skill you would need if you want to become a DevOps engineer is IT operations. DevOps engineers also need to have a strong understanding of IT operation principles and practices. This includes knowledge of servers, network, and above all, cloud computing. Then the third skill you will need if you want to become a DevOps engineer is scripting languages. DevOps engineers often use scripting languages such as Python or Bash to automate tasks. So it's important for you to have a mastery of at least one of these scripting languages. If you're not comfortable with Python, it's a must that you study Bash. I will highly recommend Python, but if you're not okay with Python, because Python has its, its own challenges, I would recommend you study Bash. And another skill you would need is continuous integration and continuous delivery. I know I talked about continuous integration and continuous delivery in the beginning of this video, but I believe that it's important for me to talk about it again, because I strongly believe it's an important skill you must have if you want to become a DevOps engineer. DevOps engineers need to be familiar with CICD principles and practices. This includes knowledge of CICD tools such as Jenkins, Azure DevOps, GitLab, Bamboo, CycleCI, and a lot more. I would highly recommend you have a mastery of at least two or three of the CICD tools. I would highly recommend you learn something like Jenkins, Azure DevOps, and GitLab. And if you have time, I will recommend you include something like GitHub Action. And Another skill you will need if you want to become a DevOps engineer is infrastructure as code. DevOps engineers often use infrastructure as code tools such as Terraform or Ansible to manage and deploy infrastructure. So it's important for you to have a mastery of Terraform. There are a couple of infrastructure as code tools out there ranging from Terraform to CloudFormation to Ansible. But what I will recommend you study is Terraform. And finally, the skill I will recommend you have, which in my opinion is the most important skill if you want to become a DevOps engineer, is cloud computing. DevOps engineers often use cloud computing platforms such as AWS, Azure, or GCP to host and manage applications and infrastructure. I will highly recommend you study AWS. Why? Because AWS has a huge market share and there are thousands of companies out there, if not millions of companies out there that are using AWS. So there's a possibility that if you go study AWS, you come out, you may have a job. Now, this does not mean that AWS should be the only cloud provider you study, but I highly recommend you start with AWS. Now, let's talk about the benefits of working as a DevOps engineer. There are a number of benefits to working as a DevOps engineer, and some of these benefits include high demand. DevOps engineers are in high demand, and the job outlook for this profession is very good, which means, as I said, if you study DevOps, you come out, there's a probability that you're going to find a job. Why? Because there are a lot of companies that are still implementing Agile and they want to break away from Agile and move to 
DevOps. The second benefit of becoming a DevOps engineer is competitive salary. DevOps engineers typically earn competitive salaries. According to this website built in, DevOps engineers stand a chance to make up to $130,000 a year. That's a lot of money. That's six figures. If you make $130,000 a year, you have or stand the opportunity to live the American dream. Another benefit of working as a DevOps engineer is the opportunity to work on cutting edge technologies. DevOps engineers have the opportunity to work on the latest and greatest technologies, which means if a new technology comes out and the company sees that this technology is going to add value to their service or product, they're going to ask you to go study that technology, build a POC out of it, and if that POC is approved, implement it, which most of the time is exciting. Why? Because you have the opportunity to work on the latest technology. And finally, Another benefit of being a DevOps engineer is job satisfaction. DevOps engineers often report high levels of job satisfaction. This is likely due to the fact that they have the opportunity to work on challenging and meaningful projects. But in my opinion, I think that job satisfaction comes from the fact that you're highly paid and above all, you work from home. When you work from home, you have the freedom to work from anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world if your company will allow you to work anywhere in the world. Now, if there are benefits of being a DevOps engineer, it obviously means that there are also challenges of being a DevOps engineer. And in this video, we're going to talk about the challenges of being a DevOps engineer. Right. The first challenge of being a DevOps engineer is steep learning curve. DevOps is a relatively new field and the learning curve can be steep. DevOps engineers need to be able to learn new things quickly. As I said earlier, if a new technology comes out and the company sees that that technology will add value to their product or service, they will ask you to go learn that technology fast, build a POC out of it, and if that POC is approved, implement that POC. Then the second challenge of being a DevOps engineer is stressful environment. DevOps engineers often work in stressful environments, especially when things go wrong. For example, your application is running and you wake up one morning, the server on which the application is running goes boom. DevOps engineers need to be able to handle stress and work well under pressure. So if you're someone who can handle stress and work well under pressure, DevOps is definitely for you. And finally, the challenge of being a DevOps engineer is on call. DevOps engineers often have to be on call, which means that they may be called in to work during off hours to respond to incident. As I said, if your application is running and it goes down on a Saturday, they're going to call you to come in and help them fix that issue. So guys, those are some of the challenges of being a DevOps engineer. And finally, we've gotten to the part uh, that everyone is waiting for. So how do you find a DevOps job? And above all, how do you find a DevOps job fast? There are a number of ways to find a DevOps job. And in this video, I'm also going to talk about those ways. The first way is network with other DevOps engineers. Attend industry events and meetups to connect with other DevOps engineers. The reason why I want you to network with other DevOps engineers is because when you network with other DevOps engineers, there's a possibility that someone may recommend you to their boss, which may lead to an interview, which may lead to an offer. The second thing you can do to find a DevOps job fast is contribute to open source projects. Contributing to open source project is a great way to gain experience and visibility in the DevOps community. So if you're active 
in the DevOps community by contributing to open source project, there's a high probability that someone is going to notice you, bring you in for an interview, and there's a probability that that may lead to an offer. And the third thing you can do to find a DevOps job fast is get certified. There are a number of DevOps certifications available. Getting certified can demonstrate your skills and knowledge to potential employers. So there are some DevOps certifications you can get. For example, you can get uh, the AWS Solution Architect Associate, which is the one I have. Uh, you can get the AWS DevOps Professional uh, Certification. Um, Terraform has a certification as well, which you can get. Kubernetes also has a certification you can get. So these are some DevOps certifications that you can get, and this may increase your chances of learning that interview. Now, I want you to understand something. Uh, certifications will not get you a job, but certifications will get you the opportunity to learn an interview because when there are a bunch of certifications on your resume, it shows to whoever is looking at that resume that at least this guy has some experience. All right, let's bring in, let's bring him in for an interview. And finally, you can just search for DevOps jobs online. There are a number of websites where you can search for DevOps jobs. For example, I use two. The first website I use is LinkedIn. And the reason why I love to use LinkedIn is because you have an opportunity to see the recruiter who posted that job and you can also reach out to them directly with your resume. That's kind of why I like LinkedIn. And the second platform I use is Indeed. There are a bunch of jobs in Indeed. All you have to do is create your profile and apply for these jobs. So guys, DevOps is a rapidly growing field and DevOps engineers are in high demand. If you're interested in a career in DevOps, I encourage you to learn more about this exciting and rewarding profession. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in my next video. Bye.